what is going on guys welcome back to another swift video in today's video we're going to take a look at the redacted modifier in swift ui and specifically how you can use it to create really cool loading states in your app so here we have an app that we're going to build when you open it up we get this skeleton view of the loading state and after three seconds we simulate basically going and fetching some data so let's go ahead and see that one more time we have the outline for the image, the name, and the post itself. And of course, this looks really cool in both uh, dark mode and in light mode here. So we'll take a look at how to set this up. So if that all sounds good, make sure you start by destroying the like button down below for the YouTube algorithm. If you're new to the channel and haven't subscribed yet, definitely consider hitting subscribe for daily iOS videos. Let's get into the video. All right, we're going to begin by opening up Xcode and creating a new project. We're gonna stick with the app template under iOS. Let's go ahead and give our project a name of Swift UI Redacted. Make sure your language is Swift and both your lifecycle and interface are set to Swift UI. Go ahead and continue, save the project wherever you'd like. We'll toss it onto our desktop. First things first, we're gonna hit resume in our preview to load it up. I'm also gonna change the preview device here to be a uh, 12 Pro Max, so we have a bit of a newer device. And no, we don't wanna enable dictation, let's close that out. Let me also expand my Xcode window and let's talk about the redacted modifier. So as you saw in the beginning of the video, redacted kind of helps you uh, stylize your UI to be in a loading state uh, where there are gray boxes that show up in place of content. So what we're gonna be building is basically a news feed like UI, and we're gonna use uh, the redacted modifier to show a loading state and a loaded state. So the first thing we're gonna do is add a navigation view here. Inside of it, we are gonna have a scroll view with a vertical stack. Now in the vertical stack, we are going to have a post view uh, with a little bit of padding on it. Now we haven't created this post view yet, so I'm gonna create this right down below so Xcode doesn't start yelling at me. It's gonna be nothing more than a pretty vanilla uh, Swift UI view. And in this Swift UI view, we're gonna have a vertical stack. And let's just put a text in here for now so it doesn't complain. And let me go ahead and hit Command B to make sure it is in fact compiling. And let's see, compiling, looking good. We're gonna hit try again on our preview on the right hand side. Uh, while it is loading and doing its thing over there, we're also going to, let's hit try again one more time. While it's loading and doing its thing, what I'm gonna do is hit this drop down and change our preview to be in dark mode. Uh, redacted previews are a little easier to see in dark mode, so we'll go ahead and do that. Now I've also grabbed an image of myself to bring in since we are gonna have to show a bit of an avatar image. So I'm gonna open up our XC assets create a new image set and we'll call it profile. I'm gonna drag in my image and drop it right there. We can uh, collapse that again. And let's go back to our content view and just create a very simple post view. Before I do that, I'm gonna add a navigation title modifier to our scroll view. We'll go ahead and call it Facebook perhaps. And let's go ahead and make this post. So a post view starts off with a horizontal stack this stack is gonna have a image for the user's profile avatar. We're gonna say resizable. We are also gonna say the aspect ratio is fit. And we're also gonna say frame uh, width and height is 55 with an alignment of center. Right next to the avatar image, we want the person's name, which is gonna be me. So I'm gonna put my name right there. I'm gonna bold that text. And I'm also gonna bump up the font size with a system font of perhaps 22. Next up, right below this, we just want a text label with the actual text of the post. So I am going to say this is a super duper long post with a bit of text for this awesome Swift UI video, just like that. And finally, the other thing we're gonna do on this vertical stack for this post is we are gonna say the alignment is uh, leading, so everything is left aligned, uh, just like that. So uh, let me go and on this post view, we are going to give it a frame 
uh, with a fixed height of perhaps 150 to make it a tad bit taller. And let's also bump up the font size of our actual content here. So we'll say it's a system font size of perhaps 24, making it nice and large. Now we want to actually deal with the redacted modifier. So redacted is pretty simple. The way you make something redacted is by simply applying the modifier. So on this post view, we can say redacted and the reason for redaction is placeholder. And if you take a look at this now, it actually went and covered the image, my name, as well as the contents of the post with this gray box, uh, which gives us the kind of illusion of its loading. Um, and if we wanted to unredact it, we can go ahead and just pass in you know, an empty brackets right there. There is also actually a uh, unredacted modifier. So let's say we passed in redacted for this whole post view, but we wanna unredact, let's say our image inside of here. We can say this image is unredacted. And what that'll do is everything here is redacted except for my avatar image. So you can, you can apply redacted and unredacted on top level containers or you know, lower down in the hierarchy views. But what I'm gonna do now is, well, the first thing we're gonna do is let's go ahead and bump up this padding to 12 to give ourselves a little more edge room. And what I'm gonna do after that is, instead of just having one of these post views, let's do a for each over perhaps zero uh, to 10. And we can say ID is going to be self underscore in since we don't care about the uh, actual number. I will paste in a post view and just like that we have a bunch of post views and we can scroll through it. Now what I'm going to do is we are going to simulate once this uh, post view actually loads up what I want to do is we want to start fetching or we want to simulate a network fetch uh, in which we're going to show the redacted view like a loading state and once it you know fetches it comes back after two or three seconds we're going to show the content. Now, the way we're going to do that is we are going to have a state up here of uh, is loading, which by default will be true. Now, for this, uh, for this actual state, what we're going to do is we are going to redact this whole vertical stack. So we're going to say redacted. We're going to say if it's loading, we're going to say it is placeholder. Otherwise, it is an empty brackets like that. And we should see over here, if I go ahead and hit resume again on our preview, uh, it should start off in a redacted state since our state by default is true, just like that. Now, the next thing we want is a way to simulate a, you know, API call. So we're going to say perhaps fetch data. And in fetch data, after let's say like three seconds, we're going to say that, you know, is loading is false. So we can say async after now plus three seconds. We can say is loading is false. Now, because is loading is uh, a state property, that'll trigger a refresh for our UI. Now, we want to actually call this function. So we are going to call this uh, once our scroll view appears. So on our scroll view, we are going to add a new modifier for on uh, appear. And we want to perform something. So here is our actual closure. We are just going to call perform, rather fetch data, just like that and hit command V, make sure everything is compiling and that you don't have any errors. And what we can go ahead and do now is we can hit, uh, first of all, resume on our preview on the right hand side here. And we got to hit this live preview and you'll see by default, it starts off in this loading state. And after three seconds, uh, everything comes back uh, in the unredacted state, uh, such that you, know, you would see in an app where something is loading when you first launch the app. And then once it's loaded, you see the data actually come in. So this loading state style, uh, oftentimes also called a skeleton view, is pretty often used in apps like uh, YouTube or Facebook, Instagram, any, any app where you're getting ultimately API network data and you're coming back to the UI and refreshing it. Uh, so it's pretty simple to use in Swift UI. You know, those of you who are coming from UI kit, you know, you know, the nightmare situation of updating your UI and you know, modeling what it should look like, et cetera, et cetera. With just a redacted modifier, you can get away with setting this whole thing up uh, extremely, extremely simply. Uh, and that's it. That's all I've got for you guys today. If you haven't done so already, make sure you destroy the like button down below for the YouTube algorithm. Hit subscribe if you're into iOS, Swift, and Swift UI. I post daily here with uh, videos, tutorials, tips, and tricks. 
Uh, comment down below if you have any questions. Of course, comments, concerns, video suggestions, feedback. Love hearing from you guys. I try to reply to every single comment. Uh, and that all said, thanks again for watching. I'll catch you on the next video.